This is a Chinese conglomerate that wants to be at the heart of global innovation and saw us and this model, the unique model of Founders Factory, which is this multi-sector corporate-backed in incubator and accelerator, as something that would put them at the heart of the London and European tech scene. And how will the information, the talent be swapped between the two countries? Will Chinese entrepreneurs be coming in and working with Founders Factory? How much will Founders Factory companies be getting access to China? Well, that's absolutely one of the most exciting things about this deal is that CSC are going to be doing more and more with artificial intelligence and big data in China. And it's important to note that this is an area where actually China uh, Chinese academics are actually pretty excellent and there is some really interesting um, research papers and companies in AI coming out of China. So um, they're going to be investing more in AI in China itself and we're going to be a key part of that bridge between Chinese AI and what is happening in Europe in artificial intelligence. Is UK the hub for artificial intelligence at the moment in Europe? I think UK owes a huge amount to its great academic institutions and then out of that was born one Demis Hassabis who founded DeepMind which sold to Google for 500 million. He now is the key, one of the key people at Google behind AI and so yes, Google have um, set up a global artificial intelligence center in London. Um, other companies are following suit and I think it's one of those things where um, you get these key moments in, in the creation of an ecosystem and I think that DeepMind was, trigger was one of them and I think you've also got this wealth of academics um, you've got and, and actually even thought leaders like Nick Bostrom from Oxford who has done, who's taken investment from none other than Elon Musk into an AI thought tank, thought centre. Those deals do seem to be coming thick and fast. As you mentioned, DeepMind, we've seen SwiftKey as well being snapped up by Microsoft. Gives us a sense of what talent will be drawn to the UK. With How many companies do you want to be starting? What sort of companies are already within the Founders Factory incubator and accelerator focusing on artificial intelligence? Yeah, so artificial intelligence is a funny sector in one sense, and then it goes across many of our sectors. So we have media, education, fintech, um, beauty and wellness, and we'll be launching another sector. And AI can go across all of those. For example, we've, um, we've taken in an accelerated company called Luther Systems that is um, doing smart contracts for the blockchain. Um, it's clear that that's an example of a company that could benefit from artificial intelligence. Another one is Fitwell that's had a million downloads in fitness and is trying to use AI for um, improving your fitness and making sure that it's really a personalized um, a system that it operates. The same will happen in EdTech. But what's also exciting will be the bespoke AI businesses that we build and accelerate. So the model is that in each sector we will incubate, I launch from scratch, two businesses per annum and we will accelerate five per annum in that sector. So what happens now is we go for a call out to companies that are brilliant at AI and for the, the accelerator and say, come to us, we can really help you. We have 60 full-time employees um, who, unlike most accelerator incubators, who are there full-time, the best of the best to help you. Um, and we have these large corporates that you're also going to be, that are going to help leverage you to success and you can, um, we're going to enable you to do partnerships with them and others. And that's one of the other things that's important to recognize about London is that London is not just world class for AI but it's world class for these fantastic corporates that we've got and we're putting Founders Factory at the center of that ecosystem as well.